I get stressed a lot. Anxious, like name it, emotional. I mean, I deal with a lot of energies. And of course, I do my yoga, I do my meditation. And people ask me about what I'm wearing. So these are um, japa, it's like mala beads. Um, I'll share at the end of the video on how it has helped me. Um, you can, you know, there's two parts to this video. One is the reading and then me sharing how I was able to find some mental clarity and balance my life by using uh, mala or prayer beads, also some people call it. Um, this one is black obsidian. I'll share more at the, at the latter part of this video. A wish has been granted. Prayers answered. I wish I may, I wish I might. This is a good card. The Nine of Cups is a card of like optimistic. So the Leos are feeling this vibe right now, like things are working out in your life. Everything is good. Now the thing with the Nine of Cups, because it's normally sitting and then it's just resting behind it. They say the challenge of the Nine of Cups, you know how when you are so satisfied in life and everything is good, you know that the next part is to share it with someone else. <laughs> So it's a desire that you will have. Later on, it's gonna get boring. You feel like I have everything in my life good. And then like, what's next? That's a Nine of Cups, which is very interesting because the Nine of Cups is actually um, getting a lot of attention. Now you would have to, excuse me, you would have to choose which one you like, meaning which one or who, not which one. So let me show you the cards. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the Leos are wishing for a big change in their romantic life. That's what you're wishing. It's like, if ever I am going to be dating, I want some things to change in my life. Okay. Let's see. Alrighty. Um, let's start with the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. So the Leo are just saying here that um, I'm manifesting can be something new or someone new. I'm not going to be talking to anyone for now. So it is a card of isolation with the High Priestess. So this is like, I'm shutting down, I'm putting a wall, this is blocking, like definitely blocking. Like you're really like, I'm serious about this, Sal. I'm blocking them, I'm ignoring them, and I'm not talking to this person because I want things to change. So you may want someone new or you may want something new. Okay, so let me see here. So if you are, let's see the high pieces. This is a card of like not talking, not communicating. So you block them. And then now you're just saying, it's like, actually I'm more happy right now that we're not talking. So you found peace here. Now it can be done with a Pisces or a Taurus. You got, you got Libra also here. Um, what happened here is like you met a person who's basically, because the Empress is here. This is showing like self gratitious in a way. Empress here is showing that your person, uh, this is what I'm seeing, because the Empress is about like, ooh, self gratitious It's like, oh, you think you're all that, Leo, because that's an Empress, because you're shutting down. So you, you're not chasing the Empress, right? And if you're there on the yin side, which is the Empress, mm, with the Empress, it's showing, it's like, okay, self gratitious okay. I wonder what's wrong with your person that they don't want to take action. Because your person here is saying, because the Empress is about, because there's a Queen of Wands, that's, your person is saying, it's like, well, if you're not going to talk to me, then I'll find someone who will. You see that? If you're not going to do this for me, then I'll find someone. Mm -hmm. 
You see that? Mm -hmm. So you shut down with the High Priestess. Your person shuts down with the Four of Swords. Mm. So now, no contact, no communication. And actually, you wanted this. This is what I'm seeing. So now it's a hold back from two people. Okay. And the Queen of Wands is you also. So you're showing like, I'm taking back my power here. So you're going to be remaining in the no contact. Queen of Wands, she does go out. She's looking. She's talking. She's entertaining other people. So in the meantime that you guys are not talking, from what I'm seeing is that you are now engaging with someone else. But not like, ooh, I'm in a relationship. No, 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 no. Because here with the full card, you feel like one that's reckless. But with a full card, you're just giving, you know, I'm just living life over here. Right? I'm just doing me with the full card. I'm just being happy over here mm -hmm. with the full card. Okay. So, should you give this a chance though? Because the fool is here. The fool is about. Like, okay, I'm gonna take a chance on this. Like, I'm gonna be doing this. The fool is about. The fool is about. Mm, It's more of like reckless to give this a chance. Red flags are there, but then you still want it. Now, a person here, Hierophant, your person is begging. Can be Taurus again, Pisces. Your person is going to beg. Okay, fine. You're good at this, Leo. You're good at the no contact. You're good at ignoring me. Now, they want what they want in this relationship. Will they give to you? The Hierophant. So, I don't see you, like, replying with enthusiasm, not at all. It feels like, no, I doubt that this person is serious. Five of Pentacles. You're even too scared to reply to text back, okay? Because of how much love you have for your person. So, this is what I'm seeing here. Ten of Cups with the Eight of Cups. You're too scared to emotionally invest with this person because of how much you were drained with the Eight of Cups. So you give it all. Give it all. Mm -hmm. You really, you know, told your person over here that um, I want us to be together future-wise. Like you were giving it. You were really expressing and talking to your person about the future. Okay. And then they took that for granted thinking that it's like, again, take for granted entitled. Okay, like your effort, your effort, your effort. Because the nine now, you have the nine of cups and then you have the eight of cups. It's the last card over there. You find yourself, oh, this is draining. It's only me. And they're never really putting effort. So you gave it all. Oh, okay. You see, go the distance. All the glitters. Let me see. Ooh, no contact. And definitely the end of no contact. Because why? We have a message in a bottle. So are you in a no contact connection with your person right now? You don't know what's going on. You're waiting because there's a phone, there's a bottle, there's a seagull, and then there's a telescope. I feel like there's been some stalking going around, sizing up each other, observing from their social media, like looking into talking to friends, what are they doing, this and that. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing that if you're waiting for a message for your person, this is this reading for you. Let's find out more. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. So stress and anxiety, like that comes with my day to day. Like there are times where I'd be overthinking about a situation and then like, you know, like we all have good days and bad days. So I have, you know, I've tried, of course, like I do my yoga, my meditation, I do practice Ayurveda. And then of course I do Vastu for the house. Um, you know, I try to balance my life at, at the least, you know, but there are things that is a struggle and one of uh, one of the things that I do for myself which I found like probably I've been doing this for the past four or five years when I started a uh, spiritual journey people call it um, is using um, prayer beads so like this one so this is a 
japa mala or you can call it a prayer beads so i'm wearing one is malachite okay this one i like green you know because i like dollars i'm kidding no <laughs> it's not okay anyway because for me like malachite association wise heart chakra color green so it's very soothing and healing so but let me give you guys a little bit of insight on how i use it so first it's like 108 beads so okay so all this is 108 so one represents the universe in numerology and then zero is the emptiness and completeness and then eight is eternity so this is the reason why it's 108 and i don't know if you guys are familiar if you're religious um in roman catholic we do have rosary and it's also 108 but this is uh, you know a practice in hinduism and buddhism but you know now of course like you know spirituality is for everyone so i practice um you know doing my meditation and my prayers now it can also be used for affirmations what you do when when i use this is that inhale exhale so inhale exhale per beads and this is the part where you're using basically pranayama also so inhale let's just say i'm use i'm doing my lord ganesha my, um, you know om gam ganapataya namaha so sorry i rushed that so i would be inhale exhale and if i'm doing for durga then i would be om dam durgaye namaha and then a hundred eight times and then it has helped me because you know like when you're doing your meditation um, and then prayer um, it comes to mind normally our anxiousness is related to not having enough oxygen inside our head so this becomes an instrument um, for people who wants to try basically what um, healing you know or you're trying to remove any kind of energy that is going inside actually your head okay? So I do my practice, I try, let's just be honest, in the morning I don't have time for, for my prayers. Um, but I would do a quick one, so I do a quick one. <laughs> but at night, it, it's a must for me, so that I get prepared for the next day. So um, different prayers, you know, you don't have to use the prayers that I do, because it can also be affirmations. So for example, your affirmation is, I am wealthy, or I am love, or I'm gonna be you know the next wife of Jeff Bezos why not you know I'm <laughs> no, because we have different kinds for different manifestation okay so of course love is rose quartz and then you know self-love first grounding we have tiger's eye you know we have like one two three four five six seven eight I think ten um, we have green adventuring we have fluoride how light you know so all this, of course, I'll put it in the description box. And as you guys can see, I'm not at the I'm not at the studio. I'm at our store. So for people who are going to be okay, just for today, because I'm feeling kindly generous today, I'm very generous. <laughs> and it's a magical day for me because I'm here at the store. The store is always magical here at Studio City. Not shameful for my plug-in because this is how we make our living here. So there's going to be a code flashing here, and I'll put the code there. Um, it's uh, MALA, so M-A-L-A. -A. And it's a magical number. It's 22%. You have to use that code on checkout. Um, you're going to use that code MALA, and you get 22% um, off from our um, MALA beads. Okay? So if, you, if you're watching this today, that code you can use. So, I mean, I'm just sharing what I practice. And then at the same time, you know, if you are familiar with our store, we do ship same day yes you know in this little tiny shop so it's like you know eat read love prime without the charge of the membership i'm kidding okay anyway so that's one thing that i use to remove certain anxiety or stress that i have hopefully this was able to help you and um i love that uh, um how to say this that you guys are coming in with a lot of questions this was not a question this one this was more roughly like i had a I, when when moon was debilitated uh well it was an exaltation it was uh it was in taurus the other day and mars and mars was there so my i was just stressed i was just stressed and i said it's like oh you know what let me share how to remove certain stress i was i just felt so much pressure so much tension and then this one is not a question because i just wanted to share all right so thank you very much guys for watching and this is consult the mystic with sal put the comments down there ask me any question about spirituality or business no, okay. All right, so I'll see you guys.